Welcome to Tom Teaches YouTube. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to record voiceovers using your phone. Most phones have a voice memo app. The iPhone actually has an app called Voice Memo, and you can just search it if you're not sure where it's at. There's a big red button on the bottom that if you hit record, it'll start recording. And so right now you are hearing the audio from my phone. You wanna hold it towards your mouth, but you don't wanna hold it in front of your mouth like this because a lot of the, the words that starts with P or B or T end up getting a lot of kind of like the air hitting the microphone, which isn't as good. But holding it down here, here and kind of just facing up towards your mouth. Your breath is going past it, but not directly on the microphone. This is also what it sounds like in a general room. Where you actually record your voiceover is important too, because the less room sound and echoes that you hear off the walls, the better. And so this is the audio that I'm recording on my phone in a really echoey room. This is the last place that you want to record something, but I want to just show you the difference between something that's really echoey to something that's about a medium echo, like a normal medium-sized room, to an environment that has very little little echo like your car. The good thing about doing that on your phone in your car is you don't look like a crazy person talking to yourself because someone just assumes that you're talking on the phone. Closets are also a good option if your walls are covered with clothing, but if you've got a little bit of wall space, uh, that's gonna create less echo than a medium-sized room, but probably not as good as your car. To share this, you can just airdrop it to yourself or you can email it to yourself or you can text message it to yourself or you can use Google Drive. Any of those resources will help you get it from your phone to your computer. And then when pulling it into Premiere Pro, you pull it in just like you would any other kind of media. So I hope that's helpful in you recording some of your voiceovers. I also have another video if you're writing a voiceover script on how to write it in a way that it doesn't sound like you're reading a script, but it sounds much more natural. So I'll link that video right there if you're interested in checking that out. If you'd like to stay in the loop with any of the upcoming videos that are about creating and growing on YouTube, as well as the YouTuber assignments that I post here on this channel, I'm actually a high school YouTube video production teacher. And so I put some of my assignments up on this channel and show how you can actually grade yourself as if you were in my class. Feel free to subscribe if you're interested in that and want a more formal, structured way of learning YouTube. This is Tom Teaches YouTube, and I'll see you in the next one.